This is Flash at the Dropping a Coil Show with Larry Woods and Rob Works on this, the 12th of August, 2020. And special thanks to Grimner. I think we, uh, we're we doing a show on Wednesday instead of a normal Thursday. Larry's going to be a little bit busy tomorrow, so uh, get the hellos over with. And we got for the bots and bodies today, we got a barman and Grimner. Moose Girl, Kate, Anti, Anti underscore, Asmo, Chloe, Chastoni, Chloe again. Dan, hey, you're, you're drowning me out. Oh, Dan, sorry, Dan, sorry. Here, Slash, somebody, that's me. Frumpy, Work, J Dread, J's Nine, J's, Meister Brow, Prince, Rob Works, the Bubbler, Trust, No One, Vanna White, Weather Dork, The Phantom, CC66 Cyborg Noodle and Siv Lurky 9 Matt WJ2002 Ponsa Smartass The Holiest Roger and Zpix. So, this is a kind of an unexpected show for a Wednesday, but Larry and Rob. Say hey, hi, guys. Hi, Ray. Hi, guys. So, uh, yeah, Larry's got a meeting tomorrow during showtime, so we rescheduled for today. And, uh, Larry, uh, you, uh, you and your team discovers uh, something new this week, I hear. Hey, yeah, uh, the, what, the Scottish stones that were between 3200 and 2500 B.C.? Uh, intricately carved. Uh, their uh, their uh, what do you call it? Their balls in shape, but they've got lobes on them. Uh, all different uh, number of lobes. Some of them three, five, however. Uh, but some of them are carved with an intricate pattern, and. The patterns look like Tesla pancake coils and normal resistance coils and and the triple spirals of the coils that you see on the cave walls from caveman days. So I'm thinking that and they're they're made out of things for like sandstone and granite and that's a high, a high crystalline content stone, which means that it's electrically conductive. Uh, so, and we're, we're looking at a picture of one right now that's got all these carvings on it, but in between the lobes, this one has got three small holes drilled into it like they were balancing it, and that to me just says that this thing was made to spin, to roll, uh, and it ain't no cannonball because you wouldn't get any compression with all these different yeah. lobes on it. Right. Uh, I, I don't really know what they were designed for, but it certainly looks like the rotor out of a machine to me. Yeah, I posted the link to that in the chat. It's about halfway down the page, or most of the way down the page, uh, the one with all the lines and stuff. Well, it was really an interesting drawing. Uh I'd like to find other pictures that that are on the web. I'm sure there's more, yeah. but some of them some of them don't have any kind of of design on them. But they're still the same patterns, the the same uh, lobes on them. Oh, I just and, had a bunch more. And and the lobes, these are in relief. They're not. They're not scratched into it. The patterns aren't scratched into it. They stick up above it. Uh-huh. And that's yeah. why that particular one, I thought, maybe was some sort of a of a coil or turn the stone into a coil by giving it pathways to follow. And maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, it sure is intriguing. And if we were to design a, a thing out of copper very similar to this, 
I think we could put it in a magnetic field and that it would, or in an electromagnetic field, and that it would float and rotate, thereby generating into that field. I'm finding a bunch more. Oh, here's a better, better picture of that one. I, oh man, what? Post them all up. Well, if it'll let me. No. Um. Copper balls. It won't okay. let me uh, open that one. Yeah. Here's another one. Lumpy balls. That's a dryer ball right there. You put that in your dryer with your clothes and they come out soft. Which one? Ha, uh ha, -huh. ha. The, the one with all the bumps on it, the very first picture on that. Oh, picture. okay, okay. There's another but one yeah, the picture uh, of the, okay. the one with all Say, the carving on the, it. The ones with the bumps on them, if they were producing hydrogen, you put that sucker in the wall and the, in the water and make it spin, the oxygen would come, or the hydrogen would come off the bumps and the oxygen would come off the space in between. Uh-huh. So these could have been used for electrolysis, hydrogen producing. Yeah. Here's a different one. Oh. Here's a good one. Oh, really? oh, here's some, a good one. Some interesting ones on down, on down the page, almost uh, at the bottom. Okay. Well, there's some more I've just put in the uh, wire. I'll post it in the chat. Mm -hmm. Ten best. Okay. Yeah, these are just interesting designs, and this is the kind of stuff that sort of got me thinking about a new kind of coil. Okay. Oh, those are beautiful. This last one is really nice. Uh just the seeing the different things that they did and wondering if somebody's not just going to sit there and carve one of these things out as difficult as it is just for a religious artifact. You wouldn't think. Uh, it's, I think there's more to it. And I think a lot of times that the ancient religion, you call it religion, but it's the priest go to the temple and are supported by the people so they don't have to work. They can be the engineers, the scientists, the, the keepers of the sacred knowledge of power. Uh -huh. So, yeah, it makes sense. And then I'm going to come in and conquer you, and my religion is better than your religion, so I kill out all your religious people and burn the books and... There you go. We have been losing technology over the centuries. We haven't gained it. We ain't getting smarter. We're still using steam to make power, even with the atomic mo uh, power plants. It's yeah. still steam. It's still steam, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you're social distancing, so I don't get sick. <laughs> People just get sick listening to me talk. No, oh, hey, here's one. Wow. Hey, wait a minute. There are some really unique looking stones here. Hey, you got me looking at stuff. Check this okay, out. Well, what would be kind of curious is what got you together with this particular idea in the first place? How did you trip into this? Oh, well, this girl had an idea. Uh, we, we were studying uh, Tesla's single phase motor. Um, the way it's wired, it's wired completely different than the way they do it today. It's much more efficient. But then somebody remembered seeing these balls and say, hey, what about this in there? We can make this shape. Let's do it and put some wire on it or make it out of something that's conductive and see what happens. Uh, it may heat up. It may turn red. But it may be a self-rotating, power-generating, and inducing ball. And we may not even have to, may not even have to put any wire on it. 
Hey, Larry, look at your wire there. Look at, uh, I just posted another thing. Uh, it's called Brood Mac Pictish Symbols. I oh. own Goose Mac for Goose. Oh, that's beautiful. What does that look like? Looks like a clock. Hmm. Where are you at? Uh, mine just switched off and went to the home page. Okay. Quit. <laughs> no, I don't have to. <clears throat> oh, there it is. Now that whole page. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. There's a bunch. Yeah, it's just that one image, and then there's a whole bunch more. Ah, yes, just stuff nice. below it. Um, if you look along down the right hand side, there's a bunch of uh, all this Celtic stuff looks really interesting too. The way they got those interweaving patterns, yeah. and that just seems like it should be something. But yeah, that and the the Persian rugs. I saw a Persian rug from 300 uh, AD that the border was an LRC circuit. There's another one I see a lot here too. There's three uh, swirling pattern tri uh, uh, thing. That's yeah. the tree of life with a triangle. With with a triangle in the middle of a blue circle. Uh. And the circle cut in half like a yin yang. No, no, no this is of life in the middle of it. A, a triskel. Are the three swirls on the on the staff? The triskel. It's uh, it's a round. It's a circle with three swirling. It looks like yeah. A, a, yeah, I'm looking at that. Yeah. That is so cool. Yeah. Um, this this is a pancake coil. Yeah. Uh, the the swirls are representing pancake coils. And it looks like this whole assembly rotates on that bar. Yeah. Swings round and round. That could be, yeah, that could be done with, with magnets to make that spin and with the magnets to, to push it and pull it. All of those little spikes on the far end and the near end of, of that pole would, would be arc points. Yep. The bottom of it is, is the ground and the top of it is where it arcs. That's a beautiful symbol. Cool stuff. Yes, indeed. And they call them tattoos. So is that uh, all you all discussed on the meeting Monday? Oh, no. Oh, no. What else oh, you got no. for us? Uh, the, the meeting Monday got us to where tomorrow is why we can't, why I can't go, uh, can't have this. But the, the Monday meeting took us to one of the leaders of the group has got all the material and wound the coils and got a uh, three-phase Bellissima motor uh, and we're going to wire that tomorrow and make it work. What's a Bellissima uh, motor and what's that? Uh, it, it's the motor out of a dryer, uh, uh, an Italian dryer, closed dryer, and okay. it's got a, a series of magnets around the outside rim of it and they spin electromagnets by those by pulsing them on, on, off, which is the way the world works anyway. Feel your heart. Uh -huh. uh, so, uh, that, so that, that's that, what that was the name of it? Bellissima. Bellissima. B A L I S S I M A. Uh, your guess is as good as mine on that on the lousy phone. Let me see. Let me see. This is sure, sure, sure. Bellissima motor. That's, motor. that's okay. That's gonna okay. Motor Bellissima. 
as that uh, shaft spins, the coils are on a rotor, and it pulses with the with the magnetic field. So, and there's uh, I believe 36 magnets around the outside edge of this thing. Okay, well, I, I know that's not really important. I got hung on it, but okay. yeah, uh, but that that's what they were doing to try to get over Unity when I first started with the group uh -huh. uh, October of last year, right? And I, when I introduced the toroidal coils, they sort of got away from that, but now we've got a system where we're pretty sure that one of these coils without introducing outside energy into the coil can make that three phase motor run. Okay. The the energy that we get, that twelve volts A C that we get will be enough to go through the coil and pulse this and give it the capacitance that it needs to start. Uh -huh. We'll see. Uh, that's yeah. happening tomorrow. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, uh, when they start building this project, they're going to have to have grid power to do it. So we've designed an interface with the grid system that will allow us to fill our product from the grid initially supply our customer and it goes through a transfer switch of course but we've got it so that every single bit of the power consumed by by the customer goes back onto the grid okay and they get paid for it so put in more machines do more work get more things done and make more money make more money that's it uh, so seems like a pretty good deal uh, we've got the transfer switch built in and the AC power or the the three legs of power coming out one side and the three or the three phase and the three phase power going back into the grid uh, so that that was a pretty exciting thing that, you know, it's a grit in the face when we go each way. Right. Um, and we also, which is one of my favorites, uh, we made an, a single phase amperage booster out of one of the coils. All this coil is designed to do is to give you more amperage uh, off the load side. And okay, yeah. that worked. that worked out pretty good. We've got a a 12 circuit coil again uh, this is a flat wound coil and it should produce 30 times more energy than we put into it and uh, whatever the house needs we'll just put that many LEDs in the light post to boost up that much amperage so that's going to be an easy thing to accomplish the wiring is this is to date, the most complicated wiring diagram that I've made, but it, it's more complicated than the, the diagram for switching over to main power. Gee. But it works. It, it works electrically. We'll find out if it works when we look it up or not. Okay. So it hasn't actually been prototyped? No, it hasn't been prototyped yet. Uh, we haven't got that far. Okay. Well, that all sounds the circuits, these circuits all work electrically, so I'm pretty sure they'll work with the coils. We'll find out. You're the one that would know. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Neither do I. So, speaking of the project, uh, I'm, of course, I'm always thinking about it, but... Uh, your your plan is to go over there and teach people, teach the villagers or whoever how to build the coils and let them yeah. produce the coils. Yeah. So you're not gonna we'll be able to do that. that you're not gonna be able to do that until COVID eases up. 
Right, exactly. Uh, I'm thinking September. What are the chances they would be willing to uh, back a program here to teach people how to make the calls and get a head start on it? We would be shot. Uh, I've already had to visit. Yeah. Can't do anything in the United States. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, that's, that's too bad. I've, I've got a uh, uh, peer checker. I think that's what it's called. Just a second, let me find out. Um, peer block. Peer block. Let me open that up, and I'll tell you who's been looking at us. Oh. Uh, the Korean government, the Malaysian government, uh, lots and lots and lots and lots. Let me get the right part of it up. By looking at us, what do you mean? Uh, well, this is pure block, and what it does is it tells you who's who's monitoring your site. Okay. I guess that's what I need. What site are you talking about? Uh, Pure Block 1.2. No, I mean, what site are they monitoring? That you're I don't know. I can't tell. I don't know that sort of thing. Just a second. Let me find the right spot. Okay. Port settings. Port settings. Uh, web traffic and F PFTP transfer and outgoing mail and incoming mail. I've got okay, that's, 80. That's all stats for a website. Okay. Or a hosting plan, actually, for a website. Um, that, yeah, uh, but what's the website that you're looking at the stats for? Is that, um, is that the... 80, uh, 80 comma 443 parentheses uh, HTTP, HTTPS, and web traffic. Uh, okay, well, the, yeah. The protection here, here is coming up. This is the list. Uh, General Electric's looking at me. Xerox is looking at me. Uh, and they've all been blocked. Let's see. It's coming up again. I wasn't aware you had a website. Other than that one I made you that doesn't exist anymore. Uh, yeah, I've, I don't have a website. Well, then I don't understand. What you're looking at? I can't find exactly the one that I was looking at the other day. List manager. There we or go. Is that, is that your router you're looking at? Ah, uh, here, here it is. It's. Uh, it was on one of my lists. Oh crap! The list manager, and it's got. China Internet Information Center, Bonnet on Telecom, Malaysia, Korea Internet and Security Agency, uh, China Unicom, Helen Dong Proxy. Um, but how are they finding you, Larry, through your um, Facebook information or what? I, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. This is just people, uh, communications police of Bangkok, the Royal well, uh, Navy yeah, College of Nursing. You don't get, like, some kind of notice that they're looking at your stuff? And uh, then what stuff are they looking at to make their judgments? I'm kind of confused. I, I have no idea. This well, is how just, uh, Somebody came by to visit, and they said, oh, you need gear block. And all this stuff started showing up. What did you originally type into the computer? I don't know. He did it. 
Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're one, of those, okay. one of those buddies come over and put something on your computer. Okay. You know, nothing okay. So that's a firewall. Those are people that have been trying to get into your computer. Well, the Royal Thai Navy College of Nursing, Traffic yeah. Police of Bangkok, Central yeah. Police Training Division in Thailand, Ministry of Public Health in Thailand, well, okay. Southern Border Provinces Police Operations Center. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, it, it's just, uh, and it, this happened when we when we had that meeting with the guy from Malaysia because that's where he was at. Right. That's when all that stuff started showing up. Yeah. Hmm. Well. Oops. GE right. Healthcare Clinical Systems. USA Southern European Task Force. That's uh, Electronic well, Service Italia. Quite the list of uh, uh, CAD activity on Telecom Italia business. CAD activity on Grupo Mineral Mafel. <laughs> Okay, so that's, this is a this is a uh, a firewall US type Navy program. Italy, NATO, U.S. Navy, Italy. Yeah, this is a firewall program, and all of those things have been trying to access your computer. Mm-hmm. Wait, let them look. There ain't nothing on there but porn. <laughs> <laughs> Then I keep everything hard copy. Screw them. That's right. uh, and that was that was P two P. Okay, so anti P two P organizations. Uh, yeah, I see all that. Yeah, yeah. Advertising and data tracking services, educational institutions, and universities. Well, you got Cowboy Tech on this. He he's bringing up Microsoft. New uh, and innocent ways Windows users users can get hacked. Absolutely. Uh, well, you've already made a stand. You don't put it on the computer in the first place. Fuck it. Yeah. And when you do, it'll be open source, and you'll mean to put it on there, so there will be nothing to keep a secret about. Yeah, that's right. <sighs> Such a simple world we live in. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Oh, so easy when you don't tell everybody a bunch of bullshit. China Education and Research Network in Najang, Huan University, uh, China Education and Research Network again, Education Management Corporation, Concordia University, American Education Centers, United School District. Wunlicky Academy, City of Pittsfield Schools. Why are they looking at me? That's, yeah. Or that could just be the source of the computer where people are looking from, right? Yeah. You can log on from a business. and Yeah, it's some, some individual is there looking from that computer. Um yeah. Those pictures must be great. <laughs> that's a lot of. That's a lot of. Uh, I'm not sure you're completely understanding. I, I've, I've got. I went and got that program. I'll, I'll look at it and see. Uh, yeah, I know I'm not understanding. Yeah, I know nothing about this thing. Yeah, I just. Well, I all just that, all that software is, is, a, is a firewall program. I just that, went into list manager and, and told it to give me a list and it showed me all yeah. this stuff. Okay. <laughs> but, you know, if you go to a website of one of those websites, it's going yeah. to register that. So it's it's picking up everything you go to as well as if, any, if somebody's actually trying to access your computer. Well, uh, I guarantee I've never gone to the Malaysian police. Oh, well, yeah, I understand. <laughs> Uh, or NATO. <laughs> NATO. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to. I'll dig into that. Get down to the nitty gritty on it and see what it. Uh, see what it's all about. 
you know what's really happening there. But I thought that was kind of unique. But some people look. Yeah. All they'll see is the good fish I've caught. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, we ain't had a fishing report. Uh, Larry been too busy to go fishing for the past three weeks. That's a fishing report. <laughs> That's yeah. a bummer. Oh. Uh, I'm starting to have fishing withdrawals. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, yeah. how long will it take you to knock this this um, situation out that you're going to start tomorrow? Um, we'll probably spend a good four hours with him. Uh, connecting wires and doing different tests. Uh, we've got to test magnetic field strength. We've got to, uh, we've got to test the, what I call a phantom circuit, but it's a magnetic circuit that you can't test with a, with a device. Uh, and we built special test equipment, uh, to do that. Uh, this particular circuit doesn't read when you put a meter on it, doesn't feel you can grab hold of it and you can't tell there's energy going through it but when you put a load on it the load works so that's we we've, we've developed a light bulb system that should make that work if, it, if it's going through an led but the led as you know is, is, polar, uh, is polarized so that if we hook it on backwards it, it won't light but if we hook it on the right way it will light so just going through and testing all the circuits like that uh, and with a direct resistance light bulb, um, magnetic field temperature, we'll be monitoring the temperature to find out if this particular system will heat up. Uh, some of the stuff we've got stays at room temperature and doesn't heat up, and I'm thinking that's what this one's going to do just because of the way we've got it wired, but... We'll see on that one. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, of course, the voltage and amperage and, and the, the relationship between input and output. You'll have a watt meter hooked onto it. Uh, so we'll know how much we waste. Uh, the watt meter reads power consumed, uh, actually converted into heat. But it's consumed. Um, golly, I think that's all. <laughs> we've already done. The, we've already done the ohm readings on it. When you have two circuits, you, you've got a specific amount of resistance in each circuit. Right. When you hook two together, that resistance drops. When you hook three together, it goes almost to zero, like point oh oh one. And when you put four circuits together zero resistance and we've got a 12 circuit panel our uh, co coil so we're we're set there we're showing zero resistance and that's that's super conductivity right well at room temperature yeah supposed to be and it's it's really it's doing a whole bunch of stuff that isn't normal the last one of these we tested got four times more energy out than was put into it. Mm -hmm. So, and that that was with a bench top power supply. Uh -huh. uh, one of the guys showed us at the meeting Monday. He's testing one circuit only, and doing high frequency and high voltage through it. Uh, high frequency is twelve volts. Uh huh. Uh, that's high voltage, 12 volts. And that 12 volts gave him a 1,000 volt potential. And he was running a 5% duty cycle. And that 1,000% potential was running the other 95% of the duty cycle. Jeez. So... That's that's boosting that's boosting the input power. He was getting micro volts or yeah micro volts out of it, and went to millivolts. That's times one thousand. So uh, this is a really exciting coil. This may be uh, 
And that's one circuit out of it. Jeez. Multiply that by 12. Uh, so this may be a, for the power companies for the high voltage transmission lines. We'll see. But that's just some of the fun mm -hmm. stuff we're doing. Uh, yeah. The coil that we're testing tomorrow is a four to one. You get four times more out than you put in. So we'll see what that does. Well, what's the ratio with the way they do it now? Come on. You know, compared to what they put in, what do they get out? If if they put in a hundred percent, and it's a very efficient transformer, yeah. Unless unless you pay extra for a special made one, you'll be losing forty percent. It only puts out sixty percent of what you put into it. By design. By design. Yes. That's the part that we've been uh, not hearing all our lives. They do that on purpose. Why would you make something efficient if you were the one charging for the power? I well, I'm Jewish. Yeah. I wouldn't. Uh, in fact, if anything, I'd raise prices on you people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that the people that are in power are far too kind to you. Prices are far too low. I think there's some Jewish uh -huh, in uh -huh, uh -huh. because I have a huge nose. I have a ski jump. I don't have a nose. <laughs> I was I was throwing a little sarcasm out there, but uh, the way I trying to be the, mean. The way I understand that the whole Tesla story was he wanted to give us free electric, and you know business didn't. So here we are. Well, there you go, J.P. Morgan. If you can't charge for it every month, I ain't buying into it. But they, they seem to have just uh, connected everything else to energy so that the, ba the bottom line is no energy and you're fucked. You get nowhere. Try using your cell phone when there's no juice in it sometimes. You'll see what I'm talking about. Well, he was into mining and oil and fossil fuels. That's you yeah, all the products to make this stuff happen. And if we can burn something to make to make electricity, let's do that instead of give it away free. Yeah, all the synthetics on top of it. They were useless synthetics that wouldn't earn them any profit any other way. Yep. They, had, they had to con us into thinking we needed it. Oil was a, a terrible thing before they figured out they could run machines with it. Yeah. You had oil on your property, it wasn't worth a damn. It was just useless. Yeah, that's why they made that movie, the that TV show, The Beverly Hillbillies. Yep. Yep. Just to you know, prime the pump, make us more, more dependent, more and more and more. That's it. Well, yes, how sir. did it get this out of control? Is what I'd like to know. But Rich, Rich Bowen, Rich Bowen, oh, yeah, made money off of it. Yeah. Yeah. The owners huh. of the corporations, so boy, I can make more money off of this and get charged for it, mm -hmm. and it's renewable. Oil is not a finite thing. Oil is renewable. That's the lifeblood of our planet. <laughs> what is it like? It's like a lubricant for Earth, and here we are sucking yeah. it out, burning it, yeah. Yeah. like such dumbasses. Yeah. Meanwhile, so they wonder, is that why we get these weird earthquakes and strange places? Yeah, yeah. that and fracking. Uh, not fracking. That's on fracking wind turbines. Face. Come on, and wind turbines. Oh, there is so much more. Oh, yeah, but we get conned by the media to believe in all these things that are really bad for us. They they tell us on the TV. Oh, they're really good for you. Critters so won't even. Hey. Wild critters won't even graze under a windmill. Cattle won't graze under a windmill. Well, they've been trying to thin those herds down for a while anyway. <laughs> really? All yeah, that Jim Cow, oh. Hey, you know who I haven't seen much of in what, that almost a year? Ooh. Little Greta from Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> hey, not, a, oh. not a freaking word out of any of these climate fear muggers for like nine months. Thank you, COVID. Yeah. Yep. It's the only thing good that it did. Well, I was so worried that the planet was going to, you know, die because of uh, climate change. Couldn't remember what it was called for oh, a second. Wow. 
that. <laughs> well, now I've got something new to worry about, so I feel so much better. Yeah, but they still ain't figured out which way it's changing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is going to be an ice age or a heat wave. Yeah. Wow. I just had a visual of Biden and Trump sumo wrestling at the White House for the job. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Winner takes all. I'll Try hanging on to your ball. Joseph Sniffer. <laughs> 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 but, Matt, or maybe yeah. they could co-president the end of the United States. That's right. Because if you guys are going to put up with four more years of the shit that I've read for the last eight months, there ain't going to be an America that to govern. I ain't buying into that. Yep. If, if Biden gets elected with, uh, shoot, I can't even remember her name now. Harris. Harris. Yeah. Can I tell her, yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if, if she gets to be his running mate on day one or within the first week, they'll pull a, a, a article or a Amendment 25 on him, and he's incompetent, yeah, and she takes over and pulls somebody else in. She gets to appoint her vice president at that point. Hmm. If that happens, we are dead. Hmm. Well, good luck. Doesn't look good from, from this side of the pond. <laughs> Just saying. But, but yeah, I, 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 well, I you know, really, I thinking about it. Yeah. You shattered my bubble on the whole thing about the shooters. Um, who? Who's going to shoot? I asked him, when I asked Larry about setting up an operation here. Oh, um, yeah, so, that's right. You, you can't do any of this in America. <laughs> I, I know a lot about what you cannot do in America. Some of it is news, like what Larry told me about the electrical last week. But it makes so much sense that the the foundation of why you can't actually get anywhere is because the rules are strapped to the 1700s. Yeah. In my town, you still can't shoot a jackrabbit off the back end of the trolley. Well, sure. Yeah. You think you got problems in California, you can't fuck a dead cat. Oh, my goodness. Why well, they don't make that a law here. It was so it was so rampant that they found it necessary to write a law and put it on the books. Boy. Wow. Well, you know, law keeps lawyers in, in a job. It I'm doesn't have to make bad. sense. Hey, guys, I'm going to move out. Kind of That's legal up there. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Bestiality is legal in Canada now. Well, there you go. There you hey. go. I'm going to find me a bear. A bear. Oh, yeah. my God. Hope it's hope it's a furry bear. <laughs> <laughs> so, but anyway, Larry, seriously speaking, because I was curious about, okay, you have four hours invested into a meeting that goes into a period of labor. Do you already have the estimates for how long the labor should take to get this thing built to test it? Okay. That's what I was yeah. trying to Let, Let's <laughs> talk about that a little bit. That's a good topic. Thanks, thanks. With, well, you do the talking and I'll mute. Okay. With 12 circuits, that's 24 wires, okay? 12 circuits means that there's 144 minimum different ways to wire this, to, to hook it up. Well, so far we've got eight of the 144. But 72 of those are just going to be the opposite polarity of, of themselves. So that brings us down to 72. And again, we've just now got eight of the different ways to wire it. Uh, the other ways, it, when we come upon a, a power use, uh, something that we want to make power for, then we come up with how to wire the coil to provide that specific type of power, uh, whether it's three-phase Y, three-phase delta, grounded B-phase delta, uh, or single-phase 12240, or straight 240 systems. We've got to come up with a different wiring diagram for each one of those because 
and and the different number of coils and different coil combinations to achieve it. So we we've, we've got now the component coil complete. We don't have to do any more drawings on that one. That replaces all the electronic equipment and the diodes and all that garbage that burns out, stuff that breaks. So we got that out of the way. We've got the interface with the power company now out of the way. We've got a, a power boosting. Say, uh, okay, I don't run a welder here, but if I wanted to, that would draw a whole bunch more power off my system. And say I'm on the same pole with my neighbor, and he wants to run a welder too. Well, to provide the energy, the extra energy, for another welding load on uh, two welding loads on that system, we have to add another coil. So we just yesterday finished up the drawing for how to boost up the amperage requirements for that facility. Uh, and this one will work in residential, and it will take three of this to work in a commercial in a three phase system. So it, it's it's not just hook 12 wires up, hook 24 wires up, and you're done. Uh, it's how to hook them up, what position to put them in, okay. what portions of the coil are working together with other portions, how many amps do you need, how many volts do you need. And all that's on paper, so yeah. it's there to see it. And then you only have to produce one version of all these possible ways to do it. Well, it's, it's like picking it's, a sandwich in a restaurant. I want it with this, this, and this. Is it yeah. that simple? Yeah, it's that simple. Okay. Uh, All right. It just sounds very technical because of what it is, the electricity. <laughs> well, it, it's a whole bunch of wires to hook under a terminal mm -hmm. strip. Mm -hmm. A whole bunch. And a whole bunch of jumpers that go in different places. It's like programming a dip switch. Like programming a dip switch with 24 switches on it. Is that like talking to Hans? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I got one more, one more but, part to this. Oh, question. switch, not shit. A dip. I was Larry, thinking dip shit. <laughs> who, never mind. Who's, who's going to do the testing, the safety testing on this project? Is that part of your... Um, yeah, we're going to open okay, up program. another company. We're going to open up an independent testing laboratory. <laughs> just like UL. Just <laughs> like the pharmaceutical <laughs> companies. <laughs> we will test our own stuff and put our own safety label on it. Screw these people that are fossil fuel backed. Whoa. Okay. Well, well hey, hey, Rob, I just wanted to get that little bit in because no, that's cool. I got him. Everybody got else does it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wow. What? Don't be the squeaky the, wheel. The phone companies. Yeah. They all do it. Okay. Well, that's at a level of business I'm not. I'm not familiar with. Well, we we've, we've also designed plugs where where once this thing is wired internally, there's there's a plug sticking out the end of it. Yeah, and like a toaster, a, yeah. Yeah, and if you go well. hook it into the right other piece of equipment, it won't fit in that plug. Right, yeah. Yeah, make it plug and play. They, yeah. Over here, they've got the, the double plug and the triple plug. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like your dryer plug. Some of them have an L-shaped uh, hole in them. Some of them have three slanted holes in them. Uh, so, yeah, you can't plug the wrong thing into the wrong thing. Unless you yeah, we're going to gonna have winter coming, too, damn it. Me and Sirk ditched the dryer. Uh-oh. In the wintertime, it's too cold outside to, to do any drying, but not inside. So oh, yeah. It, yeah, but in the in the summer and the spring here, we got a, oh, we got a clothesline. Absolutely, I still got a clothes run in my back. Uh, yeah, well, I'm I'm still happy with the decision to to cut back on the juice and let nature do some more stuff. Absolutely, and I'm growing my vegetables and uh, well, Cirque's growing some, and I'm growing stuff in the house and such. Cool. 
so. Yeah, we've been given cucumbers, and uh, she got a few tomatoes come out, those little round, tiny little cherry tomatoes. Yeah? Took them down to the bar, and the bartender loves the shit out of her uh, backyard gardening. So there you go. Well, you don't make friends better than that when you feed somebody for just a, you know, here, have some. Have some yeah. real food, yeah. Uh, oh, here, I'll, I'll sell you these for, it. said, fuck that shit. We just give away what we can't eat. And there was lots of neighbors around us, too. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, her mom has the other bar, so I go over there if I want to and drop her off a bag of shit. It, it's, uh, I don't know, it's kind of neighborly, I guess. Yeah. Most are really good neighbors, yeah. Yeah, it does. Well, I was giving you a guy from the uh, Green Danish Report. Well, you're according and the quite the pepper. Well, I have a friend that he's got my back. He knows all the Danish laws that are coming, and he wants to make sure that I'm safe. Well, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. He, he's my best friend, but he's my imaginary friend. Um, and he says weird things sometimes, so it's hard to see that he's got my back. <laughs> but I, I understand it. Uh, yeah, you know what they're not going to do here in Denmark that other people believe they're going to do here in Denmark? Forced vaccination? Oh, yeah. They already put the big thumbs up to that shit. Oh, yeah, sure, we'll do it. And then they turn around and went, the fuck we're going to do that? People were really? Like, but in the beginning, the health minister flip flop. You know, they had to turn it around. Yeah, these people will re- remove you from your fucking office and then publicly shame you for the rest <laughs> of your fucking life and point you out in the street by your name. Yeah, yeah, and it's a small. Yeah, you can't hide. Where are you going to go? Read the label. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. It's, like the size of what Rhode Island or something here it's really small yeah it's like a small state mm. there's 19 states with a bigger population than uh, Denmark <laughs> yeah wow that's how important we are is out of your 50 states Denmark is yeah where do you get off having an opinion I, yeah <laughs> oh, exactly I don't even really live on your bit of dirt. You're a bitty, you're a bitty old country over here. Y'all ain't nobody. <laughs> shut, no, it's, I mean, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I don't think it's going to like that. No? Okay. But you know what? I got a Thor joke. I told it on the dork table a couple of years ago. I bring it to dropping the coil. Here so there's party in the you know in the Netherlands and all the gods come and everybody and they're all fucking and drinking and doing whatever they do all night long and in the fucking crack of the morning this girl looks up and there's this guy just flying in out of the sky this big staff crashes it into the ground and he yells I'm Thor and that girl rolls over and she says you're Thor. I'm so Thor. I can't piss. <laughs> I have heard that one before. That was a grade school joke. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm, I live in Denmark, though. So <laughs> yeah, it's, it's local. When I was in California or, say, New York, hearing a, a European or uh, English joke, it, it was different than when I was living well, now and here. So these weird, like... Gods and shit like that. I always made fun of it. Can't make fun of that shit over here. Mm-hmm. No, they they've even got like jewelry that uh, that certain Danes wear to identify that conquering kind of mentality. Yeah, it looks like a little like a little hammer. It's like being in a club with a tattoo. You know, they get all serious about that shit. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, but they're very nice people. Yeah. But I wouldn't want to cross them and piss them off and end up, you know, with a Thor's hammer in my forehead. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and they're very the the comfortable. These, uh, all these roads are done with a lot of brickwork, so they've got masons. Yeah. And I'm telling you, these kids running these backhoes, little tiny backhoes about the size of a half a Volkswagen bus, Kid looked about sixteen fucking years old. <laughs> like I'm, get, I'm getting old, man. 
I'm starting to see children's faces and people that are <laughs> doing, you know, construction <laughs> jobs on the street. And I'm seeing little children. So, yeah. <laughs> well, it was a shock, but the kid flicked his cigarette the fuck down and went back up in his backhoe and went back to work. <laughs> it's like, damn. damn. And he didn't look old enough to, you know, to buy a beer. <laughs> And here the the legal drinking age is eighteen, but they boot them out at ten o'clock. I think there's like a, a cutoff time. A curfew. Yeah. Well, cool. uh, it's it's still I guess it's a little better yeah. than not being able to completely. Well, at least they get home in time to get to work in the morning. Yeah, well, they're a little looser here on their restrictions. They sound horrible, but when you live in it, it's not so bad. <laughs> Yeah. But that was just my ah two cents tonight. Because I was grilling Larry on how he's gonna pull this la the caper off mm -hmm. tomorrow, and I think that part of the key to the whole thing is the safety testing. Because yeah. safety testing, whether a human being believes in it or not, the company you work for won't get insurance unless you have. Safety testing done. Right, Larry? That's right. Right, Rob? Yeah, I did it. Well, I'm just saying, you know, this is kind of common. Everybody that's ever done any kind of business knows. Yeah, well, safety is. Yeah, but it's finance. It's not about safety. It's about we're we're going to have to have millions and millions of dollars of liability insurance. And yeah. we wouldn't be able to get that without some sort of a safety label on it. And without a recognized standards label, uh, it may be hard to get one anyway. Yeah. Insurance. So we'll see. Uh, it's, it's just a possible way around it, and we haven't even gone anything more than just talking about it so far. I haven't looked into what kind of, of stuff we got to do just to get the, the independent testing license. Yeah. Good old well, Uncle Sam. This stuff sounds a lot to me, it's very similar to banking. And, and I, the way I'm saying it's similar is that, yeah, really, you got to put something there first before anybody can say you did anything that's wrong. So... Hmm. You know, you, you're, you're kind of given an opportunity to put it there. You're built here. Build this. Show me it's safe. That kind right. of idea. Well, yeah. they can't tell you not to do it because your safety people are going to tell, you, tell them it's safe. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're like a government. You think, well, boy, I'm going to start calling you Larry Clinton. Look, <laughs> <laughs> Larry. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. Well, you know, those are the tools in front of you, Larry, and I, yeah. I commend you for using them. I would never do the things you're doing. Not in a would I. So, I, I don't have crazy to do this stuff. Yeah, I don't have that kind of courage. I but know. you do, so I'll hang on your shirt tail until you get there. <laughs> and then I can go, I knew him when he was just a lunatic. <laughs> 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 That's what they do to people. Is you're yeah. crazy until you do it. Once you do it, and then they go, "I knew he could do that." <laughs> yeah, we were best friends from all your support. You know, the people that supported you all the way. Yeah, all four, you know, both of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I well, that, he's got more is. support than just us. But yeah, but we got the internet to get you know a group of people that two people supported. So that's like five people, and then you got their two people. Then the group gets a little bigger. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, like a spider web, only human. <laughs> well, I'm I'm just talking about our progress, and there's other guys out there that are doing the same kind of thing. Some of them are turning alternators magnetically to produce AC power for the house. Some of them are taking the 48 volts off of the incoming phone line or landline uh, and turning that into usable energy. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff that can be done uh, other than just turning off the light switch. 
Well, I've got a couple of questions about undoing some of the damage that has been done so far, right? For example, like if, if they slow down on sucking out the oil, then is in, in itself, when, when you torture something for a while and then you suddenly stop torturing it, it goes into a state of shock. Because, hey, hey, where's my whipping? Don't you care about me anymore? <laughs> yeah. That, that meant, to, okay, well, I'm talking about an earth being like alive in a way because it's got all these lubricants and like it grows shit here and it's got sand there and all these things, water, all these things are put here for a reason to do certain jobs. But greedy people taught us how to not be concerned about any of that. We're professionals. We'll take care of it for you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Is there a cure in, in your vision for us or are we have we like hit critical mass and we're just fucked no matter what we do? No, man. We we got a long way to go before we hit critical mass. Okay. Uh, but if we stop drawing an oil out of the earth, it's just like if you gave a lot of blood, you'd have to sort of lay down and recover afterwards. That's what Mother Earth will do. She'll just sit there for a while, not doing anything new, not doing anything special, just sort of being and replenishing. And then she can clean up the water if we stop polluting it. Uh, I... In this country, I think that can be accomplished. In places like India, I don't think that that will ever be accomplished. Uh, they they bathe and do everything else in the Ganges River over there. And that supplies a great deal of water to not only the whole country, but to the ocean. So... Uh, Maybe, maybe something can be put in on a massive, uh, put in a dam that has cleaning facilities in it. That one side it comes in dirty, the next side it goes out clean. Uh, something like that. But well, we certainly have the technology. Absolutely. Just, but Absolutely. the people with the money don't want to give it up. They want more money. Yeah. So, uh, but. No, I, I understand, but it's possible. I agree with your your thoughts, process that the, the the earth itself, if left unattended, will take care of itself. It's all our intrusion that creates all this extra shit it can't handle. Yeah, and We're then they blame to destroy everything. And then they blame the users for using the shit that the manufacturers made. Yeah, because the users aren't taught and you. You vote with your fucking money, you monkey. <laughs> mm -hmm. Put it on my Visa card. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Live and see. We've, we've just outsmarted ourselves so far as I can see. The yeah. Uh, man is going to kill himself for convenience. Yeah, they're, they're, they're fighting amongst themselves over political ideology. <laughs> well, how in the... In a free country. Yeah. So, kind of blows the whole free country theory. Yeah. White folks protesting because they're ashamed they're black. They're not black. Or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Goodness like that. Strange things. Yeah. Thank well, you. They, they, tr they tried bringing it over here, and, it, and it, they had one pro protest. It had a pretty good following. And then the second one got like 150 people, and they went, uh-oh. <laughs> We better not do that here again. Yep. We don't want that kind of stuff in our country. But the but the people are not mean to each other about color. They're mean to each other about stupidity. Yeah. Which yeah. is as it should be. You're going to be an idiot, and you're white. You're still a fucking idiot. You're just a yeah. white idiot. So, yeah. yeah. And if you're black and you're an idiot, you're a black idiot. The fuck does it matter? But... Some folks have figured out how to separate us and get these little groups and shit going so we can fight about free energy. <laughs> it's true. There all these distractions to keep you silent. Huh? Yeah, but is it going to be a Super Bowl? 
<laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, what? Uh, That's, yeah. I mean, are gladiators going to perform? Yeah. Uh, I don't personally give a flying squad. Will, will there be a, a live Super Bowl or will they do it with just the teams and broadcast? They'll have, they'll have canned crowd noises as they broadcast. They'll have a virtual crowd. Yeah. See, that's where you got to get this federal shit, separate it from state, and take your little state back. And quit letting this Fed bullshit fuck you up. Well, yeah. our state has three large cities in it that are population centers, and those are all blue states. <laughs> uh, blue. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and the rest of the state is red. Oh, Lord. Yeah, yeah. That's, like, that's like Texas. Yeah. Same thing. What a mess. Cities are so blue and everyone else is good. Well, I'm going to load a bowl in your guys' honor because that just made my day. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm in a communist shithole. De I'm, just, I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm here. Oh, yeah, I'm telling yeah. you, man. Yeah. Ooh. Well, I guess my financially, you know, it's just, it, it, if I was to, you know, to come here at, to, to work or something, I probably would... Uh, I don't yeah, know. I think uh, I <laughs> no, no. I see the truth behind the American dollar being worth four cents, and it being worth a dollar. Yeah. So, well, these people ain't playing any different game. It's the same fiat fucking shit here as it is where I'm from. Yeah, it's where well, well, There you go. So, what the fuck should I care for? Oh, same banksters. But what you do is you stay out of their current their uh, their workforce. Yes, yeah. you know that's there's yeah. there's the key to that, and never use their medical. Boy, stay out of the system. Unless somebody runs me over with a truck, you know. Well, yeah. And then you can't be denied now. You can't be denied denied that kind of service in a civilized world anywhere. They'll take you to a hospital because it's the right thing to do. You know, they're going to search you for ID after you get hit by a truck. No, going to try to save your happy ass. So outside of that, I'm just figuring shit. I'm, I'm holding up. Yeah. Well, so far so good. I only get yeah. complaints from Sirk and Hansel. <laughs> that was a joke, Rob. I, know. I was being sarcastic on uh, the drop yeah. of coil podcast. I'm going to tell her you said that. Mm -hmm. Ah, she don't care anyway. She just, I don't know. Cirque is a very unique female. I have not had a problem with her about any of that. I heard this and I heard that shit. Yeah. That's oh, I went through a lot of that in, in the English-speaking world. Whoa. Because, you know, I'm really the like the most boring person in the world. I spend most of my time around other people trying to find a place to go smoke. <laughs> See? Yep. And if they already smoke, they know that, so we go together. And if they know that I'm going to smoke and they don't smoke, they leave me the fuck alone to go smoke. Yep. Go do what you want, too, as long as you ain't hurting nobody. It, and, right, but you know that it's against the law in Denmark to smoke hashish. Yeah, oh fifty percent, fifty-seven percent of the voting population want to make it legal, but the sitting parliament won't have it because of all the drug money and well, fuck all the laws. They make it make it legal and tax it, and make a fortune. It, well, when you do that, those sales drop. Yeah. Well, sure, because you're going to have the black market no matter fucking what, and we're not paying no damn taxes. Are you out of your mind? I, I, that. I wouldn't trust the government to produce a, a, a strain of marijuana I could consume that wouldn't threaten me in a physical fashion. So I get my stuff from Ahmed. Thank you very much. Jim or weed. They know how to stop those you know, leads to <laughs> perfection. Well, I probably yeah. send it by the pound. The Middle East, I, well, I saw pictures uh, on the Internet, or not pictures, but video link, of the old guys in Afghanistan sitting on this, uh, in front of the clubs and shit in the street in the dirt, smoking freaking heroin. Fingers stained from the 
just constant. It, wow. Like, I mean, there's addiction for you. Don't they put hash and tobacco over there? Oh, yeah, they mix it. You can't smoke hash just by itself. It's way too much. Cool. They, and they burn the they burn the uh, nicotine out of the cigarette before they do it. They got this little like ritual program thing. It's cool as fuck. I watched Circuit do it. It's it's like zip 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 zip. It would take me I, even after watching it all this time, I still would do it wrong. Sounds fun. Well. It's uh, it's like mixing a, the proper drink for uh, somebody that likes or has that taste, uh, what do you call it, the ability to, to be that sensitive to a taste to know the drink is made wrong. Yeah. They're like that with the hash here. Cool. Me, I've been smoking pot all those years before I got here, so I was like, this stuff is so different to my system that I can smoke the shittiest of it and still get a good buzz. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. what, what a problem to have <laughs> yeah yep. I'm living the life over here it's too fucking funny and then every time I go to, into town I run into somebody that knows something or wants something or hey how you doing so uh, it's just like America except uh, there's a lot of Danish people here odd thing for Dan or for Denmark well yeah I, I well when you were in, in uh, California, did you ever see, uh, like, Golden Gate Park, the Haight-Ashbury area, all that, the hippie days? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I got to that in the 80s, but go ahead. Cool. Uh, well, go ahead. That, that mentality, that, that kind of leave me alone, I leave you alone life is where yep. I got to. Yeah, but I came from that. And then there was a lull in the middle where people got a little nasty. And now it's back. <laughs> In, in the famous picture of the street sign from Hay Ashbury, the window that you see above the street sign, uh, my fraternity brother in college lived there. See? It's a small fucking place, man. <coughs> but it's but it's huge. Okay. Wow. He didn't live there very long. He rented that apartment. <laughs> yeah, I, I spent some time in that neighborhood in what, 87, I think. But it's been a while. California was a lot of fun. See, I've got all these great memories of America in big cities when they were still livable. Mm hmm Yeah. So, hmm. and then, but the last nine years watching it decline has been a little painful. Yeah. And then I get, I get the occasional, well, you don't live here. You don't have an opinion. Well, you don't live in Denmark, but you have one about Denmark. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's okay for me because I'm American. I live in. You know, I don't live in Germany, but I got opinions about Germany. It's right over across the border, and it's weird to be able to sit somewhere and and say that out loud. I I live close to the German border. <laughs> like, what the fuck happened here? And and then on the other hand, it, it's like normal. This is my normal is very unusual. I, think, I suppose, <laughs> but nothing like the shit Larry comes up with. Uh, well, your electrical ideas are hard for me to understand on the radio, but when I sit down and look at a few things, maybe pictures, then I start to get a better idea of what you're saying and how it works. The one thing I'm a little short on, hey, you can tell us a story about this. I'm a little short on how do you get more of a return from a small investment? Then, uh, you like you see, you put in a hundred percent, and now it'll give you sixty back, because so, it wastes. It doesn't produce a hundred; it produces sixty on purpose. But yours will produce a hundred. But what do you have to put in to get that hundred? Actually, twelve volts AC that we create ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, it, what it. Okay. Is there a uh, simpleton way to explain this for me? Because I know it's, there's an answer, but I'm not quite connecting it. Yeah. Uh, what we have is a radio frequency receiver and transmitter that is a jewel thief. 
A jewel thief is an extra little coil that they put in a flash camera to make the flash brighter. It's just an extra little coil that increases the amperage a great deal to make that flash really bright. And the way these coils are designed, they do that. They're, they're quarter, quarter wave radio antennas, which means that they pick up frequency from whatever's in, in the air, whatever's in the room where you're at, whatever's outside coming off the power line. They pick up that extra frequency, and they also can receive electrons from the earth, which is more negative than they are. So it, it, we actually do these things suck, is exactly what they do. Uh, and because, because we've got multiple circuits, we can get more amperage out of it because... Uh, Say, we, say we've say we got 12 amps coming out of a coil. Well, that's one amp per, uh, per winding. So we've got 12 amps coming out. Where normally all of that 12 windings would be one winding wrapped around an iron core, which loses a whole bunch of it just to heat just from that which also limits the magnetic field so that that coil can only do one thing. So, as opposed to ours, it has no iron in it, doesn't heat up. We've eliminated the eddy currents, which are imperfections in the way it's wired by putting one wire exactly touching next to the, the wire preceding it. That allows... Each individual magnetic field that's created not only electrically but magnetically induced into the wire next to it. We've got two circuits together, one going each direction, which means that the magnetic field travels the same direction, whether positive or negative. There is an empty space between each pair of circuits that gets smaller as it goes toward the hole in the donut, that compresses the magnetic field. The, as the wire goes around the donut, that also compresses the magnetic field in the edible part of the donut in the ring and creates tornadoes like you get out of the north and the south pole of, the, of this coil, creates magnetic tornadoes that are circulating in there. All that's extra rotation. That's extra movement in the magnetic field. <clears throat> All of this expansion and contraction of the magnetic field makes it smaller as it's, as it's contracted and compressed toward the vortex, which wow. increases the magnetic field in the vortex. And that magnetically reduces the resistance of the wire. And that's as simple as I can put it. And that, I called that the jewel thief. That was good. It was a better explanation. Yeah, yeah uh, it's a jewel thief. Well, I don't, this, how do you explain this to somebody that already knows is the problem? You know, for me, being the new guy, right? And you and Rob, Rob seems to follow you a lot easier than I do, but you'll trip Rob up. But then I listen to him you know, absorb the new information and I catch on where he sees what you see, but I still don't see it. <laughs> I, but, okay, hey, being honest is not, right. it's not always making it's, me look good. There's but. nothing wrong with that. I can't sweat two pieces of pipe together. I could never be a plumber. Wow, no way. Really? Yeah. I can't, wow. I can't stand in the same spot in a, in a manufacturing plant and put the same screw in over and over for oh. eight hours every day. Yeah. I I've don't do that. that. Yeah. No, no I've done it. They never hit your money your money button because they, they sure did a good job of that. For mindless work, it was paid really good. 
what I liked best about being an electrician is you got a different job all the time, and even though you're hooking and using the same <laughs> things, you're doing something different all the time. Well, hmm. well, uh, well hey, sorry, killer dog. Invasion. So, Larry. Yes. What is the difference between magnetism and gravity? Well, first of all, there ain't no such thing as gravity. It's magnetism or, and probably both, static electricity. The ground, the earth, is negative. Everything above the earth, including the sky, is more positive than that. The farther away from earth you get, the more positive the field is. So, therefore, magnetically, you stick to the earth. And static electricity, that is the, the difference in potential between the potential of the earth and the potential in your body, that also sticks you to the earth. Okay, well, if, if it's just magnetism, why wouldn't a magnet and rock not fall at the same speed? Or a piece of metal and a piece of, a piece of metal and a piece of rubber? They both go at the same speed. speed. If it was pure magnetism, wouldn't it, you would think the metal uh, would fall faster? That's and, one result in static and, electricity. I don't know. Maybe that. not. You might be right. Well, if you took a ball, two solid balls, one of iron and one of copper. Yeah. Okay, and you drop them, they both fall at the same speed. You hit the ground at the same time. Right. But copper's not magnetically attracted. Right. Iron is. So, but, but copper has more of, uh, it's got more of a positive charge to it than the earth. That's why it falls. And so does the iron. Yeah. Yeah, every, everything above the earth is more positive than the earth, and that's why it's attracted to it. Doesn't doesn't matter if it's got magnetic properties or not. Everything everything can be charged, everything can be magnetized. It's just we don't read that field. Hmm. And it, it may be something else. It's not centrifugal force that's holding us on, that's for sure. No, that would be counter. Yeah. It would be centrifugal force would throw us away from here. Yeah. Um, I'm probably not right on my theory about the, about it being static electricity and magnetism. I, you know, I think about these things. It's just, uh, it can't be just purely magnetism. No. No, it's got more to it. There's more to it. Yeah. I'm not sure I understand the the static electricity you're talking about. Uh, about Your hair sticking to a balloon. Yeah. Rubbing a balloon on your shirt and it's sticking to the wall. Yeah. How does that work? Static electricity all the time just by moving. And the difference in charge potentials. Oh, yeah. yeah our, our body charge is different than the charge in the earth. When I walk across certain um, carpets in certain kind of shoes mm-hmm. and touch somebody, I spark them. Oh, uh-huh. yeah. Yeah, I, really, I guess. Has, yeah, well, I got wood floors here, so it's been a while, but there's carpeting at the bar, but I haven't sparked anybody in a long time. <laughs> Probably the wrong shoes for it, but. Or the wrong, there's some kind of a synthetic carpet that I, I react to like that. A uh, nylon carpet, probably. Well, yeah, yeah, something cheap. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, they probably don't have it at the place, but uh, I'll keep I'll keep that in mind. But, hey, you got a nylon carpet? I want to do an experiment. <laughs> hold, hold this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come here, let me you. Speaking of experiments, uh, Larry, have you heard of the uh, that experiment where they spin a ceramic disc 
and it uh, reduces the weight of anything underneath it. Anything below it? Yes. I um, saw this a long, long time ago. Uh, let me see if I can find Don't they spin a ceramic rod in, in like a centrifuge in a storing tank in a biological lab? Uh, to be to do breaking the law of gravity. Um, uh, anti gravity disc. Okay. Let yeah, Larry cro- caused cri- quite the disturbance with doubting gravity. I I get that too. Yeah, my wife uh, rolls her eyes at me when I when I doubt gravity. He said, "What well, is well, theory? Prove it." Uh, no, they, uh, they don't know what it is. Uh, they can't say what it is. A super conductor. So you might as well call it Stella. It's still not what you're calling it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's like that round, you know, my my round earth, flat earth theory. Have you ever heard that, Larry? Yeah, it's round and flat like a record. No, is that There's I don't care. The ones that holding it up. Yeah, I don't care what it is because the answer doesn't help me at anything. <laughs> except to impress people with how smart I seem to be. <laughs> Okay, I posted a link there for you. Um, oh, okay, Rob got back together. Bye. Uh, the, I posted it in the chat, too. Uh, the title of the link is, I've recently heard reports of a researcher claiming to have produced anti-gravity effects using a spinning superconducting disc. And basically, the and I, and I heard about this years ago when I was looking into the Hutchison stuff. Um... And basically, it, it's like a shielding effect. Hmm. Ah, getting down into it now. Yeah, I, mean, I didn't mean to send you off on a <laughs> on a uh, tangent there, but um, I was just wondering if you heard of <laughs> such a thing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I, I, I know, know. Uh, it's pretty intriguing. Yeah, I know it's not your eyes, didn't I? Yes, I did. Because <laughs> uh, I can spin a piece of ceramic. Yeah. Do that in well, the maybe, coil, do that in the spiral coil. Yeah, well, maybe, maybe a little thing to bring up with the group. Yeah. I'm sure one of them heard, have heard of this. It's not something new. It's been around for decades. Uh, no, I'm not sure part of that group has seen this. Uh, actually, this is, uh, was begun in 1996, actually. It was mentioned in uh-huh. the Sunday Telegraph and picked up by Business Week and New Scientists. Da, 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 da. Uh, Brand new. So. Yeah, except 1996 was just the other day, their sport. Yeah, that's that's years, tw- that's old, folks. Only 24 years ago. Mm-hmm. I was there when it happened. Well, that's more than one back than that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Larry's going to out, out old guy us. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's man. fine. He can win. <laughs> well, this, article was, this article was printed in uh, 1999 from Scientific American. Anyways, um, so, you know, I've looked into gravity a lot over, you know, the years, not... Uh, not to the point of expertise or anything, but I've seen a lot of different things, and this is one of them that really stuck in my mind. Is they, the one I saw it was a ceramic disc, but I do remember now that I see this, it had to do with superconductivity. And basically, that's what made me think, because you, you're talking about the magnetic circuits, and having zero resistance, which is basically what superconductivity is, is zero resistance wire, regardless of whatever the temperature is. If you're getting zero resistance, you have zero uh, superconductivity. And so, maybe spinning the coil itself. Well, okay, there's there's another there's another way that that we might be. Uh, missing uh, 
once you get uh, you can you can go from resistance to inductance uh, if you if you've got a certain kind of a meter if you've got more inductance than you do resistance it switches scales on you and goes to the inductance scale and these coils by showing us that they've got zero resistance may be showing us that at that point they're going into inductance which doesn't deal with resistance at all because inductance is an outside force right so it, it, it may be as simple as that and yeah the wires still have all the resistance in them that they ever did but they have so much inductance in them that it cancels out the resistance reading mm -hmm. uh, that that might be one explanation for what's happening okay I, I don't have the right kind of equipment to really tell that but I can tell you that my multimeter literally when you put three set or three uh, circuits together it literally shows zero at point oh oh one and four of them show zero Hmm. So uh, it, that that may be just the the shortcomings of my meter. Yeah, but you you would think if you put <laughs> four lengths of wire together, uh, one length should have you'd call it one unit of resistance, whatever that length of wire is. Yet another length of the same length and it should be two units and another wire should be three and another wire should be four but it goes the opposite direction yeah yeah it's inverse <laughs> Which, oh, holy it, shit <laughs> it, just, it, it doesn't make sense to me actually it's kind of um, that's for sure yeah there's a lot of things about these coils that, that don't fit my education uh oh <laughs> But the bat phone, the prince is calling. Commissioner. <laughs> Under that. This is the bat cave. Power conditioning system. Ah, yeah. This is, it's all just fascinating me. But, uh, this is really getting to me that you can't do it here. It's pissing me off. It's making me want to, want to leave. It's pissing me off, too. Well, oh, I, I heard Larry say that he's expecting the uh, the lockdown nonsense to end in September, or is that yeah. just a guess? Or did you get? Do you uh, know something that we've been? Well, um, at least where we're going in Malaysia, uh, the the people that we're talking to have uh, connections with the royal families and and all the countries over there. Mm -hmm. And they're just flat, not going to do it anymore. Not going to do it. They're not going to wear masks. Not going to socially distance. Oh, okay. They're going to go. Gonna they're they're going to tell who to get fucked. That's what it is. Yeah. Oh, they're going to tell who to get fuck off. Yep. Be a real country again. Good. 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 Well, it's been a hoax since so starting. It's you just said it out now. Uh, you just basically told everybody it's Malaysia. <laughs> uh, well, that's that's where the head engineer is, and it's not in Malaysia. Oh, okay. we may have a school there. Oh, okay. But it, it's the project's not in in Malaysia. Okay. No, it's a much smaller country. Okay. Well, I was. Oh. <laughs> I, I was. I've been trying to be cautious about. Saying what I what I say and I just no it uh, it's it's not Malaysia and oh, okay. I don't think that I mentioned any of the countries. Uh, no, no. Uh, all you mentioned yeah. is Malaysia, or Taiwan, as far as where you're going to meet today. Yeah, yeah, someplace over in that part of the world. I think it's going to be Malaysia when we go for the for the meeting, uh -huh. and we'll probably train in Malaysia. Okay. Um, see what happens there. 
Oh, I was just amazed that you had the freedom to, to leave. I didn't know that you could without, you know, special permission from God Trump or whatever. Un unless they shut me down at the, at the airport, it's... it's yeah, I, don't, I don't think it's so much about leaving, it's about coming back. They're, they are uh, denying actual, uh, citizens and legal residents entry if they've been to one of the hotspot countries. Oh, that'd be like what? Iran, Syria, Iraq, Afghanistan. Well, yeah, I'm talking about the COVID hotspots. Lebanon, Chile, Portugal, Peru. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm back. Sorry, guys. Italy, France. Well, America's got big foot, man. It sticks its big foot up everybody's little tiny ass. Mm -hmm. And it just leaves the toe there dangling. Wow. Yeah, hey, America, yeah. can you take the toe out of my ass, please? Yeah, yeah we we'll like managed to die. Piss just you about everybody. Matter of fact, that's the reason I haven't left yet anyway, is because they pissed everybody off at Americans around the world. You can't go anywhere where the initial reaction. I mean, like when you go, you can tell us from experience, Flash, when you first got there, your initial, the initial reaction to the American. Here in Denmark? Well, yeah. What was it like? Nothing. Just. Like being, no, they didn't have any type of negative reaction to you being the American. No, no, no. never been treated badly like that. No, not in any other, other countries. It's no, we it's didn't more like Indonesia either. It's it's turned into they more punk me because of Trump <laughs> than me personally about any of this. Yeah, because I've said because I've gone into the bar and they wondered. One guy will yell, hey, what about that Donald Trump? And I go, I fuck Donald Trump in the ass with a cucumber. <laughs> and that kind of stuff. People will remember you said that. Yeah. So they know I'm no no fan of Trump. So that's, you know. Yeah. It's it's like a, a, how they, they're nice to you in well, like punk and uh, well, like so they, they're fine. They're finding out whether you're a tourist or an expat. <laughs> Oh, I've been here so long. find out you're an expat, you're cool. But if you're just a tourist... No, there's no difference. People oh. here aren't... They're not well, that social, personally. They, they don't get in your business like that. Uh -huh. Flash, don't forget to fill out your mail-in vote. Oh, yeah. yeah I didn't mail in anything anywhere. Fuck them. And, and the one for your cat and the one for your dog. Yep. No, see, so if I wanted to become a Danish citizen, that's when the shit storm would begin. But I don't want to do that. So I'm guess, I'm a guest by marriage here, period. So there's a special category for that. It's the circumstances of the law. I'm not breaking any freaking laws. So it's just cool. Get through it all. So there's an exception for a, a foreigner married to a native. How do you mean exception? No, just I'm not applying to them to become a Dane. I'm still American paper. Right. So I'm not sure. Do you have a visa? Are you on a visa of any kind? Passport. Anyway, but that's well, all. Passport. Got, you know, it changes all the all the rules. Change legally, schmegally. But when I was shit, I was in Scotland for two and a half years. Yeah. All these. Yeah. Well, because of my birth, I don't know. I've never been given any trouble wherever I've gone. I've been able to stay wherever I've gone to and overstay and stay over that, and no, nothing ever happens. You're a lucky guy. No, I hold an American passport. They're like freaking, uh, what do you call it, diamonds or something. American experience. In the, in the, paper, <laughs> in the paper chase world, right? Yeah. It, if you're going to play poker, you know, draw the big hands. <laughs> so that's yeah, what I got. I got to yeah, if I had like a South African passport or something, it would probably would have attracted different attention to it. Yeah, but the passport carries a lot of power, even though you know America's not really looking so good right now, Rob. <laughs> but uh, 
But on trust me, I have I have been kicking around the idea of, of getting the fuck out of here for many years. Matter of fact, I was I was right on the edge of moving to Belize. I was almost so. There. Why don't you? I don't do it. So circumstances aren't yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because once I leave, there's no coming back. There you go. So oh, what? What do you? What's there to go back to? And, and as far as a bit of dirt, well, it's just it, a yeah, it's a commitment. Yeah, ah, sure. the commitment stuff. Well, there you go. Some rebels rob becoming is becoming. Huh? I'm still a too. Rebel, com- I'm still too comfortable where I'm sitting. That's the problem. Ah, there you go. Well, I just you know, committed. I'm not uncomfortable enough to to do it. <laughs> And I haven't, I haven't had anything come up to entice me to run to, uh, oh, yeah. as opposed to running away from. You know, I'm not one to run away, but if I had something to run to, yeah. like a project or something, you know, like a multi million dollar solar yeah. farm project or yeah. something like that, I, I would, I would very seriously consider going through the jumping through the hoops to get what I need to do to get where I need to be. Because I can throw all that shit in the trash once I get there. You know, Larry, it looks like there's a future for Rob in your um, in your uh, safety organization. <laughs> I, <don't laughs> know. I think Rob would be qualified to test your equipment to see if it's safe or not. <laughs> yeah, yeah wrap these wires, see what they do. <laughs> just don't be pissed if I come across something that's not safe and, and shoot it down. That's what we want. That's the whole point, though. Yeah. That's the way Larry works. One of the first things I ever heard Larry say was, <laughs> if you don't uh, believe what I'm saying, challenge it, and I'll, I'll talk to you about it. Right. Absolutely. Never heard him stand his ground, and you don't know nothing, mister, and all that kind of shit. No, no. Yeah. No. Yeah, no. No. That's, that's I'm willing to change my good. mind. On what you're talking about at the moment. I know. I've yeah. been here. I've been witnessing... You see, I, this is the uh, one of the good things I get out of life is to hear shit. I don't see very good, but I hear pretty good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, I hear things other people just aren't in tune with yet. They'll get there. We were discussing a new design this morning, and just flat out I said, no, that will not work. Because you did it. <laughs> well, no, but it nope. just... I didn't. I didn't understand exactly how they were explaining it, and I just took a, a firm stand. No, it won't work. And then they explained it to me, and that's the best idea that they've come up with so far. <laughs> so you know, Larry's a dumb shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm yeah. going to call it that's the secret in the sauce. There you go. Yeah. Because that summed it up, Larry. And but the ability to be wrong—that that, makes—that's just life. I've been wrong before. It don't hurt. <laughs> exactly. Well, yeah, not yeah. always, anyway. <laughs> well, yeah. Sometimes it no. does. Well, uh, Sometimes it does. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, I, if, if the I question guess. is—is that panel hot or not? And being wrong in that case, it hurts the fuck out of you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the things yeah. in life that really matter. Yeah, yeah. when you follow the switch off, <laughs> is it hot? No, nah, it's not hot. <laughs> oh, that is supposed to be wrong, does not it? I work your <laughs> own lock on that breaker. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I did. Now, I've made mistakes. I've made lots of mistakes. I've got about 20 coils laying around here that didn't work right. If you're not making mistakes, you're not doing anything worthwhile. That's it. Uh-oh. Well. I don't make yeah. the same mistake twice, or I try not to. Yeah. <laughs> Always something new and exciting. Everything, every coil, every wrapped up piece of wire will do something. Just figuring out what it is. Yeah. And then, but you've been clear about well, this particular science doesn't interest everybody in the first place. But the weirdos that it tracks, like us, are the type that try shit because, well, hold on, I can do this. <laughs> yeah. And I think those are those of us, me, for example, 
I'm the one that you're saying, hey, look, this is dangerous shit. Don't don't toy around with this. This is different. Yeah. Well, the difference between installing a plug into a wall and what you're doing is like worlds apart. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, right. But see, a guy with my with my limited uh, uh, knowledge could take it too far and say, "Hey, I could do that." <laughs> and I just wanted to always be clear: you you don't encourage the the novice to try to be the master. Not at this point. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> Duh. When when we get it worked out mm -hmm. and can write the safety manuals and do all that kind of thing with it. Uh, like I was saying a while ago, we've designed a plug that if if it ain't the right thing, it will not plug into it. So that's yeah. we'll just sell modules and kits. If you want to do this, this is what you need. If you want to do something else, you need this module to go with it. Plug them together and leave it alone. Yeah, and eliminate all the dangerous. Go we'll have to order it from Malaysia. Trip over, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you'll have to come get it. Isn't that strange, though, Rob? Is America can't produce a good quality product by law when yeah. it comes to electricity? I didn't know it was that serious. I thought it was just greed. I didn't know it was so so greedy. It was even in the damn codes. Yeah. Well, it, that's American code says you can't switch the neutral. And that's cool because that means if you turn the light switch off, you can unscrew the light socket and it's still going to be hot up there. Well, you don't want that when you're going into work on stuff. So, you don't, we can't do that over here. In Europe and other parts of the world, there's no laws, no rules against switching the neutral. And by switching the neutral, the neutral carries the entire load of that circuit back to the panel so that it completes the circuit. Well, all that then is goes to a bus bar that the neutrals and the grounds are hooked together, and it just bleeds all of it off the ground, or back through the meter to the power company, actually, but through the ground. But what we've done is we've used that power that, that you use and we're selling it back to the power company. Use all you want because you're selling it back to the power company for the same amount that you pay for it. So besides getting it <laughs> produced on site clean yourself, you're able to sell every bit of it that you use back and make more money. Let's talk a little bit about that, selling electricity back to the electric company. Yeah. There's... I know every state has their own uh, rules about it or whatever. Um, Just a second. No problem. So, that must be important. I'm back. Okay. So, um, what, I don't know if there's a national law or, or if it if it's state by state or what um. uh, I don't know I don't know what the law is exactly I do know that uh, say you had a solar panel a bunch of solar panels on your house right and you happen to create more energy than you consume right that would go through a transfer switch mm -hmm. and go back to the power company and they are obligated I don't know whether it's through a law or just the way they do it, but they buy that back from you. And so... Yeah, yeah I've heard that go. many times. I was just wondering how in-depth your knowledge was on that. And, um, I don't know because I'm totally against solar. I haven't ever looked into that. Solar is not the way to go. Solar stuff. Our coils suck, but they do it in a good way. <laughs> okay. All right. New rule. What's, what states buy back electricity from households producing? You have the right to generate your own. There's a whole bunch of them. 
bunch of articles about it. Um, okay. Kate, Kate's making, a, I think, a, a comment. Yeah. One has to hook up to the grid to sell it. You have to be hooked up to the grid to sell it back to them. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Over 40 and states allow for some kind of net metering. Uh, translation households that generate electricity through residential solar projects can receive checks from power companies for excess energy sent to the grid. Yeah, we know how it works. The rules and rates for selling electricity to, get to the grid vary from state to state as well as by utility companies. Some make it easier, others make it hard as fuck. <laughs> and yeah, some of them charge you thousands of dollars for the transfer. Just for the equipment, yeah. And then there's caps on how much each household can can sell back. Uh -huh. To prevent people from fleecing the utility companies. <laughs> really? Uh huh. Recently, there's even been a push to make it harder for folks who generate renewable energy to sell it back to the grid. That's here. <laughs> Greedy motherfuckers argue that people who generate their own electricity should pay the utility company for the privilege of using the grid. Guess my what? <laughs> okay, wait a minute. I'm producing more energy than I need, <laughs> yeah, but you want me to pay you for producing more electricity than I need. Uh, mm -hmm. Fuck you. Um, Absolutely. Many states offer tax incentives. Um... Okay. But not if you have a free energy machine. No. Install and stuff. You want to make my money, but you have to generate more than you need. Yeah. Well, see, that's the whole purpose. That's the whole purpose of this project. They wanted to build this 15,000 acre solar farm mm -hmm. so that they could sell energy to the grid and power entire other countries from this solar farm. Uh, after I told them how ridiculous that idea was, we went on from there. I, I pissed them off right at the beginning. But, yeah, uh, that, <laughs> that was the whole purpose of this project, so we're not going to have a problem with that. Yeah. Ah, he cut That's it. better. Kill that thing. Uh, <laughs> anyway, that's all based on solar panels. Obviously. Oh, you did put up the link? Where? Oh, I didn't put it up yet. Uh, I guess I should have. Yeah, you should have done it a few minutes ago, but you didn't. The CI. Um, oh, you big greedy link hogger. <laughs> okay. Uh, Grim likes his notes. Simple yet complete. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I put it. I put it in the wire too, so you can see it there. Um, yeah. And there's a whole uh, search page full of links about selling electricity back to the power company. And there's a list of which states do it, and so it's different. It varies by state, uh, and even by power company. Uh, how easy or hard they make it. And, so forth. Yeah. Whether they want you to do it or not. Yeah. But if they don't, if you don't hook up to the grid, they'll condemn your home. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Fuck up, oh, man. Talk about a rocket. I produce yeah, my electricity. I That's too bad. You're not hooked up to the grid, you're condemning your house. But I produce my own electricity. No, you can't. Civilization, Rob. Civilization. No, 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 that's not civilization, sorry. <laughs> okay, so that's what they're calling it. To serve tickets and protect our wages. Yeah, all of that. And a bag of chips and some Diet Coke. <laughs> Grab your ankles, we're about to say hello. I really am. Well, actually, we're about to say goodbye, but... <laughs> Six minutes. <laughs> Six minutes. Can't shut that kid up. Yeah, I know. I keep thinking of questions to ask you. I know. 
my yeah. uh, default setting. Mm-hmm. Ask somebody a question. I, I'm like Columbo, only a little bit shorter. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> yeah, Peter Fox taller than me. I think he's still alive. Bit, so a what a terrible actor that guy was. <laughs> <laughs> but he had great characters, but he wasn't a good actor. I mean, yeah. it's the same guy always just <laughs> talking. <laughs> just different plots. Uh, man, I don't know, I'm just... What? It pisses me off that we can't do it here. Oh, well, there's always something that's going to piss you off, Rob. You just got to uh, get... Yeah, there's always something pissing me off. It. Or move to Belize. <laughs> And stop complaining. <laughs> and personally, oh, yeah. I'm for the move. I think, yeah, I have. I'm going to put my magic dust out there in the atmosphere. <laughs> well, it's it's and Rob, really to police. Oh, what? oh, I don't want to go to police now. It's fucked up there. Ah, it's fucked up everywhere. So what? Yeah, it's not, yeah. About, it's not about governments and shit. It's about community. You just got to find a place where you like, and you'll find it if you look. If you don't yeah. look, you'll just be where you are. There you go. Yeah, that's it. Right, Uncle Larry? Yep, wherever you go, there you are. <laughs> See, and I thought it was just a story old people told me. <laughs> <laughs> they were right. I'm here. <laughs> it's all a lie. Yeah, I know. But uh, So our mm-hmm. next week, are we back on the normal, regulated ske- schedule? I hope so. Okay. There's all over the internet. Yeah, whatever. I'll make we're we're cool. planning on the regular time next week and less otherwise informed. Yeah, this this was just an oddball occasion. Tomorrow is the only day it that had this to be off this week. Yeah, it had to be so. Have um, you got any closing comments about this particular meeting tomorrow before you, we close up? Uh, well, yeah. Everybody pray for me that we don't blow the guy up. This is the first time we're hooking him up, and he's supposed to have already made most of the connections. Uh, We'll run through that before we turn it on, but you never can tell. I really literally blow the guy up. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I thought you were talking about blowing his mind. Um, I thought you were talking about blowing him out of the of the whole thing, but no, you you literally <laughs> blow the guy up. <laughs> no, I'm talking about blowing his heels off. No, don't do that. There must be appropriate clothing. I mean, the guy's just, the guy's a uh, scientist of some type, right? I mean, he understands. Oh, yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah, he knows, he's, he's he knows what's going on. He knows how to. Uh, ground himself and all that. Or oh yeah, yeah. We've we've already gone over all that. He's well. You know the safety procedures, safety. right? Right. Okay. Good. Yeah, uh, I, I, would I wouldn't let you turn it on without it. Right. I'm the chicken. I'm the chicken, man. Well, I'm that's because right. you've, you've been bit. You've been bit. Top of my face. Yeah, I've been bit a bunch. <laughs> you know what it's like. Yeah, quack, 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 quack. <laughs> me. Leave out. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I put down on for religion on my draft notice. So what's your religion? I'm leave out card. <laughs> War. <laughs> what a bunch of dumb asses. No doubt. Uh, the, the mentality has got to be, well, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> it made me laugh, guys. I got a six sense of humor. I know. I know. See you next week. <laughs> See you yeah. guys. Thanks a lot. Thanks for oh, coming. Yeah. Thanks for listening. Everything. Yep. Always question everything. Believe nothing. Look at everything. Just make up your own mind. And get two big lighters at this store. Yep. Yeah. That way, when somebody pockets one, you still got one left. I about a, I about a five, I about a five pack. Hey, you <laughs> I appreciated it too. I, I think I learned something something new this week. 
as well. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, tomorrow yeah. I'll be uh, curious for a whole week to find out what the yeah. fuck happened. I'm so impatient, man. Rob will probably, probably tell it out of you and then you have to tell me. <laughs> me too, Rob. I am just chomping at the bit to get this. Oh, uh, man. If I can do anything, let me know, brother. Okay, so. All right, guys. All right. That is all there was. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.